Here. We'll start with Mike Singer. Hey, Mike, what happened on that fourth quarter play with Lonzo, A, and B, how are you feeling? What play? Uh, where it looked like you stepped on his ankle and, and you were on the baseline in pain. I mean, I just uh, turned my ankle. Brandon Cristal. I, I guess to follow up on that, obviously you, you stayed in the game. It's just one of those typical basketball ankle rolls. You, you think it's going to even bother you at yeah, all tomorrow? No, it's fine. It'll be cool tomorrow. Federico Rojas. Hey, Mike. Evening. Congrats on the win. Um, it seems to me that your game have had an upgrade. I mean, I don't know if it's because Jamal injury, uh, when he got hurt, it feels like you have added an additional weight or responsibility to your game. Now, having that in mind, did you have a special groove tonight in the fourth quarter, open it up and closing it out? Thank you. Um. <clears throat> I mean, so growing up, like I've always been on teams where I am the like vocal point. So coming to this team and fitting in um, is something that I, I accepted a role, you know what I mean? And play alongside these guys and I love doing it. So, but when those guys go down, being like a vocal point of an offense is not anything new to me. Um, and stuff generating, you know, like for me, plays me around for me, is something I'm already comfortable doing. So it's not necessarily that, um, <laughs> I had an upgrade in my game or anything. I'm just with those guys down, I'm having to be more aggressive and I can I can fluctuate between roles pretty pretty easily. Esteban Abed. Hi Mai, congrats for the win from Cordoba, Argentina. Uh, uh, what can you tell me about the job on on protecting the rim on rebound? Uh, against offensive leader in this uh, in this stat and about Faku seeing he uh, make uh, important three points tonight. Yeah, Faku was big time. I told him he was incredible on both ends tonight. Two humongous threes. Um, but yeah, like you said, I mean, a team like that that's so good on the glass, we all had to chip in um, and get rebounds, you know what I mean? So It wasn't just one guy doing it. We all had to lock in. We had to help Aaron on, on you know, Zion, and we just had to play as a team. Obviously, uh, it shouldn't have gotten that close in the fourth quarter, but overall, we did a pretty good job on most of those guys. Mike Singer. Hey, Mike, you probably see it more than most guys on the team, given that you're paired with Nicola in the front court. But does he not get enough credit for his defense in terms of his deflections and just his spacing and being in the right place? I mean, yeah, I think he's leading the team in, you know, steals and deflections. So he definitely uses his brain, you know what I mean? Like, like he's not the fastest, most athletic guy, but he's mastered on how to use his brain and be in the right spot to give himself the best chance of, of uh, you know, getting those steals and deflections. So... You know, he had a huge block tonight, but that's not something he's not accustomed to doing. He does that all the time. So uh, he's definitely an underrated defender, in my opinion. Leonardo Torres. Mike, it's Leonardo Torres from Peru. Congrats on your win. Mike, the last minute was a roller coaster, and you came so close to losing it. How comfortable did you feel in the clutch moments tonight? I mean, I felt fine. My, you know, my ankle was a little sore, so I wasn't uh, running around trying to get the ball probably like I should have been. But, <clears throat> yeah, I feel perfectly comfortable in clutch situations. I don't really feel any different. They did a good job, though, of, you know, knocking down those threes. They hit a few really, really tough threes that kept them in the game. Then they got that steal um, against me. I got to take care of the ball better. And then I don't know really what happened with that inbound play when – uh when, uh, you know, Joker threw it into me, I think it was just a miscommunication. But uh, we're fine. You know, we got the win. Um, and I feel I feel comfortable in those situations. Brandon Cristal. Michael, Coach talked about the defensive play of the four guards that y'all have right now. With a little more emphasis on your scoring, is it nice to have those guys plus Aaron to maybe ease the defensive burden on you a little bit since you're going to look to score a little more? 
I mean, it's a, it's a basketball is a two way game. You know, I'm trying to get better defense um, day day in day out, and be a good like a really really good defender myself because I know all the greats do that. So I'm, I'm not trying to depend on them to get stops for our team. You know, I wanna I wanna do the same thing. But they're definitely doing a great job out there. Martin Fernandez. Hi, Mike, here from Argentina. Um, how easier is to be the leader scorer of your team, having uh, such passers as Facu Gambasso that today served three assists to you, uh, Nikola Jokic, even Paul Mistop coming from the bench? How easier is it for you? How are the contributions? In that I mean, way? they make it a point to try to get me open. They're always looking to pass to me. so. Um, they make it easy on me, you know what I mean? And they're easy to play with. All right, that'll do it. Thanks, Mike. I appreciate you guys.